Welcome to the Subpump Workflow video series. This video will demonstrate the step-by-step -step procedure to design a tapered pump configuration for wells with high producing gas oil ratios. Many reservoirs in production today are fairly far along in a state of decline. As the reservoir pressure drops towards and below the bubble point, gas production from a well can increase substantially. Subpump allows you to design or analyze ESPs for these wells with ease. Using tapered pump strings, as well as corrections for fluid level and gas interference. In order to demonstrate this workflow, we will be using one of the example analyses provided with the program. First, click the Open button on the top toolbar, and then navigate to the directory where Subhub was installed. Double click on the file named Tapered to open it. In this example, we are attempting to design an ESP for a well that is fairly far along in the state of decline and has started to produce a lot of gas. Normally, this is a very complicated task, but Subpump has several features that make it a breeze. First, click on the Mode Selection button on the top toolbar. Note that we are using the Rigorous Design Calculation mode to ensure our calculations are as accurate as possible. This also allows Subpump to optimize our ESP design by changing the number of pump stages as necessary. Clicking Next takes us to the Wellbore screen. Notice that we are dealing with a fairly deep well with the casing anchored at 10,363 feet. Our reservoir is also fairly hot at 273 degrees Fahrenheit. The high temperature and depth aren't going to help our lower our gas oil ratios. Next up is the fluid data screen. Here we can see that we have a fairly light oil with an API gravity of 42.5 degrees. But our producing GOR is really high at 5408 SCF per barrel. And on top of that, we have an 86% water cut. This is starting to look like quite a challenging well. Click Next to come to the Reservoir Data screen. We will use the Vogel Corrected for Water Cut IPR to represent the inflow using a test rate of 517 barrels per day at a bottom hole pressure of 1674 psi. Clicking Next takes us to the Pressure Rate screen. Here we can select which of the design conditions we want the subpump to solve for, either pump intake, total fluid rate, or pump depth. We'll go ahead and have subpump solve for the pump intake conditions, since we know we need to produce close to 4,500 barrels per day and our pump will be set at 8,500 feet. This screen also shows the calculated TDH requirement for our pump, which in this case is 8,195 feet. We can also correct the fluid level for the large volume of gas in our wellbore using a calculation, as measuring devices are often thrown off by the gas bubbles coming through the fluid column. Notice that our calculated fluid level is 6,376 feet. Click on the drop-down menu and select the patio correlation and then click the Calculate button. Notice that our new fluid level is at 6,234 feet, a difference of about 140 feet. Next up is the heart of subpump, the Equipment Select screen. Notice that the tapered pump option is selected. Subpump allows you to design tapered pumps with either two or three sections. These are often used for wells with high producing gas oil ratios, but occasionally are used in wells with very high fluid production. To keep things simpler, we'll use two pumps in our design. Although subpump can calculate the necessary number of stages for the top pump, for the bottom pump, this number is determined by the user. Subpump has a huge library of pump catalog data from all of the major manufacturers, and because IHS isn't involved in ESP sales, you can be sure the data is accurate and unbiased. After selecting a bottom pump, click on the Gas Interference tab. In this screen, you can account for the free gas entering the pump, which can decrease the head per stage or lead to unstable pump operation, possibly even locking up the pump. Subpump has a proprietary calculation that tells the user how many stages are needed to compensate for the head loss, or if there is a chance of unstable operation or pump lockup. Without these additional pump stages, it would be impossible to optimize production. Next, hit the motor button. Notice that our well system curve lies nearly in the middle of our minimum and maximum pumping rates, suggesting we did a pretty good job picking out our pumps. Select the motor, then click OK. Click on the gas separation button to view the gas separation options. Subpump allows you to model gas separation using a packer, natural separation only, or natural separation along with a gas separator. We'll use a gas separator and assume that it has an efficiency of 
click OK, and then click on the Calculate button to have SubPump generate the relevant reports and graphs. First, open the Summary Report. Here, we can see the most important design parameters for our tapered pump. Our surface rate, our flowing bottom hole pressure, our pump intake pressure, discharge pressure, and the number of stages. Now, let's take a look at the pump performance curve. This graph shows the well system curve and the pump performance curve. We can see that the intersection point lies almost in the middle of the minimum and maximum pumping rates, meaning that we have an excellent pump design that will work well under a wide range of operating conditions. Ordinarily, this could have taken days and left us with a lot of uncertainty in our design, but subpump saved us a lot of time and allows us to use our design with confidence. This video briefly demonstrated how subpump can help you to design a tapered pump system for a well with high gas content. To see workflows of how Perform can help you to solve other common production optimization problems, watch the rest of the video series.